the 2023 Social Security work credits and how much you'll need to earn to be eligible for monthly benefits. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, another new announcement out of the Social Security Administration has indicated how much you're going to need to earn in 2023 to earn your four work credits and of course be eligible for monthly benefits. Let's get into it as these numbers have updated yet again, and I can tell you this much, the dollar amounts are getting higher as they usually do each and every year. So let's jump right into it. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video. As I am your one and only daily advocate, I am here for you right by your side every single day, watching all these new announcements, the updates, reports, and everything else hitting the wire, doing all the research and breaking it all down into these short videos so you can stay updated with what is actually going on right now as things continue to change very rapidly and most importantly, Importantly, I want you to know how it's going to impact you, your money, your benefits, your lifestyle, your bank account, and of course, anything else out there right now that you can possibly grab and or take advantage of, including money, benefits, raises to benefits, programs, checks, stimulus, or anything else like that. Of course, I want to bring it to your attention right away. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, and I'll continue to be here for you right by your side as that's my dedication, that's my commitment, and as always, I'm sticking to it. All right, thanks again. Let's jump into it and talk about the new announcements out of Social Security for 2023 in regards to your work credits. Now, recently, we've been getting a lot of new announcements out of the Social Security Administration because generally toward the end of the year, we get the new announcements for the following year, and that's where we're currently sitting as of right now. Now, to be completely transparent, I am filming this video in late 2022, and all of these numbers will be going into effect as of 2023. So if you're watching this video in 2023, then these numbers still apply, okay? Okay. So I want to give you these updates because this is some good information. All right. So as you probably know, in order to be eligible for Social Security benefits, you need to earn 40 credits. Now, here's what it comes down to. Social Security basically gives you one credit for a certain dollar amount that you earn every single year. Well, the dollar amount that you need to earn each and every year is updating and getting bigger and bigger every single year. So in other words, you need to work more. You need to earn a little bit more in order to earn one credit. Now, you can earn up to four credits every single year no more than that. You can earn less than that, but you can earn no more than four credits every single year, and you need at least 40 credits to be eligible for Social Security retirement benefits when you turn aged 62, okay? A lot of moving parts already here, right? So right now in 2022, again, as I record this video, Right now, you would need to earn $1,510 this year in 2022 in order to earn one work credit. However, that's a little bit over $6,000 throughout the course of the entire year. Actually, to be exact, you would need to earn $6,040 this year in 2022 to earn your four work credits. However, guess what? Next year, it's going up. So here's what's happening. You'll need to earn more money next year. So either you'll need to have a higher income or you'll need to get a raise on your uh, your hourly rate or maybe you'll need to work more hours, whatever it happens to be. Your income would need to be higher if you do need to or if you do want to actually earn your four work credits. And you probably do because realistically, if you don't have your 40 credits, you're, you're not gonna be eligible for benefits, right? So you certainly wanna get this. All right, so let me tell you what the new uh, amounts are right now for 2023. Social Security just announced these numbers. Now, here's what it comes down to. Again, as I said, this year in 2022, it's $1,510 per credit. However, for 2023, it's going up by $130 up to $1,640 in order to earn one credit. Now, this actually shakes out to $6,560 throughout the course of the entire year of 2023 in order to earn all of your four work credits. So $1,640 multiplied by four, the maximum number of credits you can get in a single year comes out to $6,560 is exactly what you need to earn next year in 2023 if you want to get all four of your work credits. Now, here's the thing. Like I said, you don't need to get all four in the course of the year. You could earn two, you could earn one, you could earn three, you could earn four. You can't earn any more than four though. So, 
Here's what it comes down to. Like I said, you basically need 40 credits. You need at least 40 credits to get Social Security retirement benefits uh, starting at the age of 62. And again, 62 would obviously be claiming benefits early, but again, we can talk about all that in a separate video as that's a pretty big topic in itself. However, when you turn 62, in order to be eligible for benefits, you need to have at least those 40 credits. So here's the thing. If you break, if you, if you break it down this way, essentially if you've earned about 6,000 to $6,500 for the last 10 years or so, you're pretty much good to go, okay? That's what it comes down to. Now, this limit does increase each and every year. Generally, it increases by about $30 to $40 per credit. So this one alone for 2023, going up by $130, that's a lot. That's a lot of extra money you need to earn in order to get that extra, those uh, each, each and every credit, right? That's $130 per credit, by the way. So in 2023, if you wanna earn all four of your credits, you need to earn an extra $520 um, I'm just run, uh, running the math in my head right now as I'm talking. So <laughs> yes, you need to earn an extra $520 in 2023 in order to be eligible for that, uh, you know, all four of your credits. So again, it's kind of a lot of extra money, especially if you're somebody who's working maybe part-time or if your income, you know, is maybe, you know, a smaller amount or something like that. It's going to add a lot of extra hours for a lot of people or, you know, maybe you'll need to pick up extra shifts or something like that. Again, it's going to be different for everybody based on your um, your salary, your hourly rate, whatever it happens to be. Uh, that's just what it comes down to. Now, a couple of things I want to throw out there as well. Sometimes I do get this question down below. Is this based on gross pay or net pay? It's always gross, okay? Gross pay is simply the big number that you see at the top of your paycheck. For example, let's just say that you earn $20 per hour. And again, I'm just giving you an example here for nice round numbers. Let's just say that you earn $20 per hour and you work, say, 10 hours. That would be $200, right? Uh, $20 per hour times 10 hours is $200. However, let's just say that you look at your paycheck and you get to take home $120. Who took my 80, right? Where'd, where'd my $80 go? Well, you can thank Uncle Sam for that one because Uncle Sam uh, and you know all of the other taxes that are taken out, take that money away. So that is the taxes and the number that you get to take home, your take home pay or net pay is your net, okay? That's what you get to take home. The take home or net pay is the same thing. It's not based on that, it's based on gross income. So whatever your hourly pay is, whatever your salary is, whatever that happens to be, that is what it will be. So. Again, if you're earning, say, $10 an hour, $15, $20, $25, $50 an hour, honestly, it doesn't matter what your pay is, your salary, whatever it happens to come out to, that's what it's going to be. It's going to be gross pay. That's what it comes down to. So hope that one kind of answers the question for you. And again, I see that popping up down below a few times every so often, and I just wanted to throw it out there as well. So um, yeah. So again, another thing too, uh, when it comes down to it, I've probably seen this down below as well, and I want to throw this out there just so there's no confusion. When it comes down to it, uh, this has nothing to do with er, uh, earnings limits for SSDI, blind and non-blind, earnings limits for those individuals receiving Social Security prior to your full retirement age, and this has nothing to, earnings, uh, nothing to do with earnings limits after your full retirement age. Those are all completely separate topics. This is all about the credits for Social Security, again. So think of Social Security kind of like a cashback system, right? Or it's almost like a reward system. Think of it that way. You go to your local grocery store, right? You spend $20 and you get one point on your card or whatever. And you, when you get so many points, you get to cash them in for like a little sticker or something, right? You know, these kind of games, right? So anyway, think of Social Security kind of the same thing. For every $1,640 that you earn in 2023, you're gonna get a point, right? You get one credit for every $1,640 that you're going to earn in 2023. When you can earn up to four credits in 2023, you've tapped it out. That's all you can do. Four credits is the max you can get. Now, of course, you can keep working beyond that. It doesn't matter. So once you earn the $6,560 in 2023, you've got your four credits, you're good to go, okay? You've locked in for the year. You've got your four credits from Social Security for the year of 2023. But again, doesn't mean you need to stop at that point. You can continue on working if you'd like to. Doesn't matter. You can stop if you want. You can slow down. You can keep going. You can speed up. It doesn't matter at all. Um, these are just the numbers that I want to lay out for you, um, so you can kind of see how many you need to, how much you need to earn in 2023 to get your four work credits. And again, one thousand six hundred forty dollars per credit. 
And again, you can earn one credit, you can earn turn, uh, two, you can earn three, or you can earn four, doesn't matter. Whatever you choose, or you can earn zero, doesn't matter at all. That's fine too. But just remember, in order to get your uh, Social Security benefits at the age of 62, uh, when you want to, you gotta have at least those 40 credits, okay? Please remember that as well. One quick side note, then I'm gonna let you go. For some reason, if you are, uh, turn age 62, or maybe 63, 64, you know, whatever it happens to be, and if you have not earned those 40 credits, if you happen to be married, right? Um, now, again, there's a lot of different rules on this. We can talk about all of this in a separate video, but if you're married, you can probably get spousal benefits as well, provided your spouse has worked and earned their 40 credits and they are now at their full retirement age as well. We're gonna dive into that one in a separate video. That's a huge, huge topic on itself. And I don't wanna cover that one in this one because honestly, it's gonna turn into a long video if we go down that road as well, right? So anyway, just remember that even if you don't re earn all of your own credits, you can still get spousal benefits as well in some instances, again, but we'll cover that in a separate video. So again, please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out some of the other thousands of videos here on the channel. And remember, stay tuned as I'm gonna continue bringing you all the latest details that I'm finding with all these updates, reports, announcements, and anything else coming out of Social Security, as well as Congress or anything else out there right now that you may be able to grab and or take advantage of. There's a lot of different things going on right now, a lot of things that are changing, and a Really want to help you out in any way that I can by keeping you updated with all this stuff that is happening. There's a lot of changes that are hitting the wire, especially all these big announcements coming out of Social Security right now. A lot of stuff that is updating for 2023, and I'm bringing it all to you right here in these videos. So again, please subscribe down below, share the video, and go back and check out some of the other videos here on the channel. Until next time, have a good one. Enjoy your day, and I hope this one helps you. Leave your comments, questions, and feedback down below, and I'll do my best to read all of them and, of course, respond to as many as possible or make dedicated videos where I see fit. All right, again, hope this one helps you. Enjoy.